Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to PM Networking. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today again we are going to troubleshoot same topology that we are discussing last video. Still there is problem. So see what is problem there. Guys, first of all, again, same topology, data center of US, data center of India. Okay. And issue is here. User from both data center are able to access internet means these user are able to access internet suppose here on the internet router i am running one loopback 8.8.8.8 so these user are able to ping 8.8.8 these user are also able to ping 8.8.8 from the outside user uh, outside user are also able to access this server outside user are also able to access this server but Connectivity between the data center is not there. That means connectivity between US and India is not working fine. Guys, there are some more information here. You can see the tunnel is working fine. Means tunnel is also working fine. That means from router number 1, you are able to ping 1.1.1.2. From router number 3, you are able to ping 1.1.1.1. Okay. But there is no connectivity means tunnel is not working fine okay tunnel is actually working fine but uh, there is some uh, misconfiguration right because of that these two data center are not able to communicate with each other so first of all please pause this video and think from where you will start the troubleshooting and what can be the problem okay because i am going to find the problem and then i am going to fix it as well but what i want before that just try to find problem and try to you know solve the problem after that watch this video and see your step is matching or not with this with this video right whatever step i am going to follow here okay guys so tunnel is working fine and there is a static route for each remote network in the routing table of router 1 and router 3 so guys let's say this is my router 1 yeah uh, this is the remote network for router 1 yes or no that means engineer have inject this network in the routing table of router 1 manually by using with method by using a static route that means here I am not config uh, running any protocols to share root on tunnel link okay through tunnel link manually engineer have configured a static route and on router number 3 remote network will be what this one so this network is also injected in the routing table of router 3 manually okay so without wasting our time let's begin the configuration first of all let me check configuration of router number 1 and then router number 3 let's find the problem what is problem there okay so on router number 1 first of all what I am going to do I am going to check that is their connectivity between tunnel interface am I able to ping remote tunnel 1.1.1.2 so yes definitely i am able to ping my remote tunnel okay now i am going to check what so ip root so ip root okay so here you can see a static root 192.168.20.0/24 is directly connected on tunnel interface that means engineer have configured a static route by using exit interface that's why it's showing you directly connected on tunnel 1 if you want to check running configuration you can check as well so run and here you can say section ip root so see what command engineer have run over here okay so one is default route towards isp this is my public IP address which is running on ISP router and one is a static route for remote network and for remote network exit interface is what tunnel interface absolutely right yes or no because is there any access list configure so IP access list so access list let me check access list because of that also you know communication can be stopped no so there is no any access list okay that means engineer have configured right static route engineer have configured correct default routes that's why these users are able to access internet okay so till now i am not able to find any problem on router number one there is no access list and a static route is configured fine right can i ping 
my remote public IP, uh, sorry, my uh, public IP address which is running on ISPN 101.1.1.2. Yes, I am able to ping. Guys, if you are, you know, not familiar with this topology, please watch my previous video, right? Last video where I discuss the topology. In that video, I make, uh, I be, I, you know, I make familiar with topology. So from there, you can understand about the IP configuration. Okay. So fine on router number one, I am not able to see any problem. Let me check these things on router number two. Or if you want to check entire configuration, you can check by running command. So run. Let me check the entire configuration. Okay. So this, this this is tunnel configuration here you can see. Okay, nothing is wrong on tunnel. Okay, tunnel destination is also fine. Tunnel source is also fine. IP address on this interface is also fine. IP address on this interface is also fine. No problem. Static route and default route both are fine. Line VTY. Okay, so I think configuration on router one is fine let me check configuration on router number three so what things i am checking over here cisco one two three routing table and ip configuration why i will check ip configuration if there is connectivity between tunnel yes or no so directly let me check routing table so ip root 192 there should be 192.168.10.0 network okay so here you can see there is one default route okay and next of ip address is absolutely fine and here is one more static route 192.168.10.0 slash 24 is directly connected on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 oh my god so engineer have configured wrong a static route over here because here you know for this network exit interface will be tunnel one not this physical interface because from this physical interface if router will forward traffic it will not encapsulate in gre header so tunnel interface exit interface should be what tunnel interface so this is problem definitely oh my god very simple let me change the configuration okay first of all if you will check the running configuration you can check that also so run and section ip root okay so here this command i need to remove this entry from here so go to global config mode and say no and let me copy this command okay now ip root 192.168.10.0.255.255.255.0 and exit interface will be tunnel 1 right now so ip root yes now exit interface for this network is what tunnel 1 now let me check connectivity ping 192.168.20.100 and source is 192.168.10.1 source is 10.100 sorry yes now you can see i am able to ping so now connectivity is there okay guys so there was uh you know problem with exit interface on router number three so engineer has configured wrong static route right they have mentioned wrong exit interface that's why connectivity was not there between data center one and data center two between india data center and us data center okay so now it's working fine everything is okay so that's all for today in next video maybe i will troubleshoot another thing okay guys bye bye thanks for watching